In this video, we're going to prove that if X and Y are homotopy equivalent spaces, then their fundamental groups are isomorphic. This is what we're going to prove, but first I need a lemma. So I need to prove that if F is a continuous map from X to X, and it's homotopic to the identity map on X. Then the induced map on fundamental group going from pi 1 of X based at X to pi 1 of X based at F of X is an isomorphism. Right, so remember, if we want to prove something about uh, isomorphisms of fundamental groups, the way we're going to get these isomorphisms is by taking continuous map from X to Y and applying the push-forward map on fundamental group. Okay, so let's prove this lemma. Let Ft be a homotopy from F0 uh, the F to F1 which is going to be the identity and let delta be the path traced out by the base point middle x under this homotopy. In other words, delta of t is ft of x. So the point is this homotopy might well move the base point around. But we know how to deal with that. So what happens if we compute f star of a loop gamma where so gamma is in uh, pi 1 based at x well this is the homotopy class of f composed gamma and I claim this loop is freely homotopic to gamma. Why? Well, here's a free homotopy. All right, that's a path of loops starting at f equals zero, no, sorry, at t equals zero with f composed gamma. Uh, maybe, so maybe I should call this s rather than t. So at s equals zero, I get Compose gamma, which is this loop here, and at s equals 1, I get the identity composed of gamma, which is gamma. So this is a homotopy from f of gamma to gamma, but it's a free homotopy because the base point moves along this path delta. So what does that say in terms of based loops? This tells us, if you remember the uh, video on base point changing maps, um, this tells us that F composed delta, uh, uh, sorry, F composed gamma and gamma are related by conjugation with delta. More precisely, um, if I stick a delta inverse here and a delta here, I have this relation. Let's draw a picture of this. Here's gamma based at x. Here's the path traced out by the base point under the homotopy. Here is this loop f 
compose gamma and along the way I have fs compose gamma so it traces out this kind of tube and from what we saw earlier on uh, I guess maybe actually this inverse should be uh, on the second guy um, The base, base changing map went from here to here. Now we also saw when we talked about base changing maps that this map that went from gamma to delta gamma delta inverse is an isomorphism. In this case, going from pi 1 of x based at x to pi 1 of x based at this point, which is f of x. And what we're saying is that the push forward map agrees with that. So that tells us that the push forward map is an isomorphism. Which is what we wanted. the push forward along a map that's homotopic to the identity is an isomorphism. So let's use that to prove this statement that if I have two homotopy equivalent spaces, their fundamental groups are isomorphic. So uh, let me start a new page. Theorem. If uh, F and G are homotopy inverses, So that x and y are homotopy equivalent. Then uh, f and g are both isomorphisms. Or f star and g star. The induced maps on fundamental groups are isomorphisms. Proof. Let's start by looking at uh, the composition f compose g. This goes from y to x to y. So it goes from y to y. And we know this is homotopic to the identity map on y. Because uh, f and g are homotopy inverses. Because this is homotopic to the identity, the lemma that we just proved implies that f star g, sorry, f compose g star uh, is an isomorphism. From, in this case, uh, pi 1 of x at x to pi 1 of x, sorry, y. based at, uh, say, um, little y, to pi 1 of y, based at f of g of y. But f compose g star is equal to f star compose g star. This is the functoriality of the push forward map. In particular, this tells us G star has to be injective. Because if G star failed to be injective, it would have a kernel, and then this composition would have a kernel, but it's supposed to be an isomorphism. So this implies G star is injective. Similarly, if this composition is supposed to be surjective, because it's an isomorphism, f star has to be surjective because if f star missed something then the composition would miss that thing okay and now by considering these guys the other way around 
This is also an isomorphism. And it's equal to uh, G star F star. And that implies that G star is surjective. And F star is injective. So in particular, both maps are surjective and injective, so they're bijective. We've already seen their holomorphisms, so they are isomorphisms, which is what we wanted. Fantastic. So this means if we have two spaces that are homotopy equivalent, we can compute the fundamental group of one by computing the fundamental group of the other. And you can really simplify spaces quite a lot using homotopy equivalences. So we've seen a couple of examples. When we come to the section of the course on cell complexes and the homotopy extension principle, we'll see loads of examples of homotopy equivalences of spaces to which we can then apply this theorem.